Hello, hello, pokey people. Dapper Drabby here. And today I'm going to do something fun here. We're going to open up the Vicavolt and Tortinator 3-pack blisters. However, I'm going to take it one step further. And I am going to plug these into some decks. Um, I'm going to plug Tortinator into like a Volcanian style deck. And then Vicavolt into a Vicavolt deck. Since I do have a Vicavolt GX. And we're going to phase those two decks off against each other. Um, I did want to preface this opening with... Uh, <laughs> This sucks. I have to write Pokemon because I tried to get. I finally got this guy on here, and the moment he clicked in, his arm fell off. So that is kind of ridiculous. My Tapu Koko. Uh, if you guys saw my last video, I was asking how to get it together, and finally got it together, but he broke. So I'm gonna have to contact them. That's kind of ridiculous. I can always use some Gorilla Glue, I guess, to put them back together. But dang it, that sucks. But, let's see what we get into these guys here. Um, we're going to start with Vicavolt. It's going to be like a mini pack battle. And then, we'll see who wins the pack battle. And then we'll see who real wins the actual battle. So, we got... And they all have Guardians Rising packs, which is great. Um, it's going to leave Vicavolt in there. He's going to be harder to get out. You guys want to see him? It's just, it's the same Sun and Moon Vicar Vault, but it's a really sweet artwork, which is kind of great. So these are the Vicar Vault packs. We'll go ahead and get Tortinator here open as well. Now, I think this thing did have a blurb on the back, but I didn't think we needed to read that today. It just says, Island Guardians, ready for battle. Tells you about everything in the set that we already know. And I'll leave that in there. Pull out the three packs. That kind of sucks. Um, maybe I will. I'll just open the packs. That's fine. Sorry. Focus on the background there for a second. There's our Turtonator. We got Metagross coins. Put these three aside here. We'll open up Vicavolt the rest of the way as well. Coins. And cards. There we go. Pull it out and try not to bend him. There we go. <laughs> Not that coins matter, but it's fun. Let's go ahead. We'll open up. Looks like they almost have the same things. So we'll we'll do this a little weird. We'll kind of do it in real time here. We'll we can open up. Whoa. I've never seen them do that before. That was kind of cool. All right. So we're on one Vicavolt pack first. Two, three, and four. One and two. It is a grass energy. We got Stomp Off Trubbish. Jang Mo O. He's bulletproof. He's so fluffy. Wimpod. We got that Goomy. Wishy Washy. Clefable. Gliscor. We got a Hakoma O O. We got Blissey. Reverse Foil Rare, which I don't know what kind of the point system that is, but. I would say Vicavolt has taken the league, league, <laughs> taken the lead with his first pack, which was a Blissey Reverse Foil Rare, and then a Helioisk. Helioisk. We'll open up the Nine Tails pack for Turtonator now and see his rebuttal. What is his rebuttal to Blissey? We will see. One, two, three, and four. One and two. It is a fighting energy. He's ready to fight. He's bringing the fight. We got a Stuffle Defense Curl. Turtle, turtle. Cottony. We got Bell Sprout. A Gligar. Holla at your boy, Marini. Wagers of Fluff. We got a Reverse Foil Aqua Patch. Now that's personal points. And an Oracorio. Now that that's personal points right there. Reverse foil aqua pads. Very, very nice. 
Um, so let's see. We're gonna go ahead and open up the Kamo GX uh, thing here, pack here. See how Vikavolt responds to that reverse foil aqua patch. He's gonna bring something competitive as well. One, two, three, four. What do we have, guys? Our energy is a metal energy. I wonder if that is a sign. We got a a Wimbod. We got Dab at your boy. We got Whalmer. Stuffle. Look at that evil smile. He's like ready to hammer in. We got Mimikyu. We got the Phantom with the Mimikyu art in it. Gliscor. Altar of the Moon. Altar of the Sun. I swear, these guys just... They put them next to each other. Ooh, reverse foil Lunala. That shatter shot in our rare is Mimikyu Hollow. Nice. Look at that psychic pack. It's like the psychic theme deck right now. Just all in one pack. Copycat. Look at that. Ooh, that is creepy. That is cool. Wow, Vikavolt is running away with this. Running away, two reverse foils and a rare so far. Wow. Okay, what is your rebuttal, Turtonator? This is hard. This is gonna be hard to beat. He's up at least three points right now. Maybe four. I don't know the math. But let's see. How do you respond? Kept that pack nice for once. We got Trubbish, but let me do the pack trick first. We got Trubbish. Drool. He's drool. Delibird! All the presents! <laughs> I'm kidding. I'll put him in the pile. Bulletproof vest. We got Taylor. We got the Carvana. Metal energy. Did I reverse? Did I do it wrong? I forgot to... I did it wrong. I did one, two, three, I think. No, I didn't do it wrong. I just didn't take out the energy. Mental energy. Fletchender. We got a multi switch. A weeping bell. Reverse foil is a Salandit. And our rare in the pack is a Lolan Golem. That electromagnetic rock wrecker. So, ay ay ay, you're down quite a few points there, Turtonator. Very, very interesting uh, reverse for us. Now let's see, put, let's see Vikavolt put the nail in the coffin here. Now usually these things come with one white code, so I got my white code for each pack, each uh, blister so far. But we'll see what's in this last pack. What's Vikavolt gonna put in the nail in the coffin with? We got a psychic energy. Helioptile. Can evolve that Heliosk. Beldum. A tentacool. Clefairy. Barboach. That a lowling graveler. Mallow. Tentacruel. He's cruel. Reverse Foil Clefable, and our rare is Victory Bell. It's a Reverse Foil Uncommon. I'll just put it in a sleeve. I know it has a price on it, but... It's definitely not worth that much. <laughs> okay, last pack. All pretty poopy. Pretty puppy. Lycanroc GX. Turtonator, I'm I'm afraid you lost, but maybe maybe I'm incorrect. Hopefully I am. We'll see in a second. One, two, three, and four. One and two. Anything special? Anything to come back? I think it's it's four to one right now. We got a dark energy. So we got Gatharita, Chansey, a petalolo. A blot. Helioptile. Sludge Shock. Tentacool. A Mallow. Tentacruel. 
Ether Paradise Conservation Area. A mouthful. Reverse foil mallow. Oh, what? In our rare is a Drampa GX. The never ending story. <laughs> oh man, I'm just, I'm going to collect this guy because I have four. I have four Drampa GXs. That is hilarious. I'm just going to collect as many as I can get my hands on. Drampa GX is clearly my card for the Guardian Rising. And it, I am happy with it. The never ending story. Love it. So there we go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. We'll uh, get these two guys sleeved up. We'll put them in a deck and we'll see how they perform against each other. Now, I don't know even who won the pack battle. Let me know in the comment section who won the pack battle. Turtonator or Vicavolt. Also, let me know who you think is going to win. And then, because uh, I think we're only going to do one match. So tell me who you think is going to win. And we'll see you guys when we get that set up. Bye-bye for now. Hello, Poké people. We are back. So we're going to face off these two promos against each other. We have the, the Turtonator and the Vicavolt. Let me go ahead and focus in on here. We have the Turtonator promo, SM27 versus Vicavolt promo, SM28. And that's the major part of our deck. We are pairing them with a couple of legendaries here. Volcanion EX for that steam up ability and Tapu Koko for flying flip. And we also have a few other players. Um, in the Turtonator one, we are also playing with a Baby Volcanion. And in the... Let me just pull out what we're playing with here. And I think there's one more card in this one as well. One more monster, per se. Um, which... Where is he at? Where is he at? Um, I'll just show these two off together. Eh, I'll just do this one. That's the one I think is more important. So we have Talon Flame on this side and Oracory on this side for uh, Passionate Dance to get out three fire types and Arrow Blitz to pull two cards and put them into our hand. And last but not least, our secondary attackers. On this side, we have Vicavolt GX, uh, since he evolves from the same Stage 2, and uh, Super Zack Cannon and Gigatron GX. On this, we have the Power Heater Volcanion to power up the, the bench with energy. So, I'm going to go ahead and get these shuffled up, and then we will get started here. So, we're just going to start by separating all these guys, right? You can sort of see what's in these decks as I get them shuffled up here. Just kind of try to get these separated, like, kind of just built these. So, you know, a lot of the Volcanions are next to each other, the VS Seekers are next to each other. Draw supporters are next to each other. So we're just trying to get it all mixed up here. And yes, of course, there's cards that could probably play better in this deck than what I necessarily have. But um, I believe these decks are at similar strength. Not definite. So I have, uh, you know, I have Vicavolt over here on the Decidueye match because he's a... Uh, they're both grass types. Um, well, should be grass types, I guess. Grass or bug. And uh, I have Volcanion over on the Salamance because generally you do carry a Salamance in um, a Volcanion deck. I just happen to not have one in this deck. We have the Glaceon for those evolutions, which is not going to play too much in this match, but the weakness could be helpful. 
Don't know if I'm bumping the camera or not. I'm going to play plenty of grass and electric energy. So we'll do it this way. Get it shuffled up a little more. Okay, so I'm about to roll a die. I'm going to roll a die to see who goes first. And uh, we'll say the sun symbol is Volcanion, so odds are Volcanion and evens are going to be Vicavolt. I'm going to go ahead and get this cleaned up here and shuffled up. There we go. So we got the Tapu Coco sleeves for Vicavolt and Solgaleo sleeves for the Turtonator. I was going to do like Charizard sleeves, but it didn't work out. Okay, so it is evens. Um, we will have Vicavolt go first. And we'll put this out here just because it might be useful. I don't think this one has a GX attack, but we'll bring it out anyways. And I'm actually going to move the dice to this side. So I have easier access to them. Which means I can bump these a little further south, or to the edge, I guess. Now, that is a stretch, so I'm going to keep the decks on this side and put the prizes on that side. So it looks like I forgot a card. Let's go ahead and, you know, cut just like we would in a tournament. Oh, we can have them way over here. Okay, so we're going to have them way on the edge here. So we will go here. You know, four. And three. Four. Two. Three. Okay, let's see what Vicavolt wants to start with here. We have a Grubbin and a Charger Bug. And we have that forest, which is very nice. Okay, so... We're going to go ahead and put Grubbin down. We will put aside our six prizes. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Put that back. We'll see what we're going to start with on the Turtonator side. It looks like a mulligan, so we will shuffle. And Vicavolt will get an extra card. Come on, let's start with a Turtonator. All right, we're going second, right? So let's start with a Volcanion. The baby Volcanion. Okay, go ahead and cut. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What do we get this time? Ninja Boy, Pokemon Fan Club, Energy Retrieval, Energy Retrieval. And a ranger. Uh-oh, this is not a good start so far. Let's try one more time here. Go ahead and cut. Four and three. We get a dive ball. Pseudo Wudo. Ultra Ball. And Volcanion EX. What is the best option here? Maybe... I'll throw Sudowoodo down and put Volcanion on the bench. Okay. There's three. And three. For our prize cards. And... Looks like he's going to draw an extra two cards. Nothing he can play. Shake hands and flip. <clears throat> and Vicavolt goes first here. So we'll draw for turn. We got a Hala. Okay, so... Looks like best bet might be to play Forest right away. Evolve, Charge a Bug. And Timer Ball. So Timer Ball. Heads are evens. Odds are uh, tails. So we got one odd. 
And two odds. So timer ball missed. Didn't get anything with that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and Tierno. Draw three new cards. We get a Wally. Since we haven't played on a supporter, or we did play a supporter this turn. So we'll hold that off until next turn. Um, yeah, that's going to be a really good card to play next turn. Can't attack this turn, but we save ourselves a little bit. Let's go ahead and put down a electric energy and end our turn there. Hopefully they cannot knock out our 90 HP charger bug. So go ahead and go over to Volcanion side. We get Pokemon Fan Club. That's a very good card to pull right now. And Dive Ball. So we're going to go ahead and play Pokemon Fan Club. Search your deck for up to two basics and add them to your hand. So what we want almost immediately is... We could get Oracorio. We could get... Oh, our Turtonator is Prize. That's what that tells me right now. Alright, so we want to get a baby Volcanion. Put that in our hand. And... Oracorio is not helpful, I guess, in this one. Because we found a different way to get everybody out. Doesn't have a lot of Pokemon on his bench, so that one's not useful. Let's go ahead and pull out a Volcanion EX. Hopefully, when we take a prize card, we can pull off the, uh, the Turtonator. The namesake of the deck. Now, I shuffled that, but it wasn't necessarily that I should have shuffled it. Because I am going to play Dive Ball to search for uh, another Volcanion EX. This is the only thing, only reason that Dive Ball is in this deck is to search out the Secret Rare Volcanion EX. down <clears throat> cut the deck and that to our hand we are gonna play volcanion and volcanion and volcanion we're gonna throw down a fire energy yeah onto volcanion here we're gonna steam up once we'll just say we used him we're gonna use the switch card to switch pseudo and Volcanion. We have one card left. We're going to set that down for now. And we are going to Power Heater. You know, pulling one energy out of the discard here. We'll stick it on to, I guess, the closest Volcanion. For 20 damage plus 30. So we do 50 damage. And they have 40 damage left. They got to figure something out. Otherwise, Volcanion is going to take this match quickly. Okay, so we draw another card. Um, we're going to try to Timer Ball again. There's an even. And an even. So we get to search for two, uh, two Pokemon that evolve. What else do I have in my hand? Okay. So, first, obviously, what we want to do is find the promo Vicavolt, this guy right here. That is going to be the first one we find. Second thing I think we want, we either want to pull a Talonflame out of the deck or something else. Let me go ahead. I think I want to pull... The Vicavolt GX out of here, actually. And that is this guy. So, we'll pull both Vicavolts out with the timer ball there. We need to find another grub in there. And it sucks because we have four Talon Flames that are dead cards in our hand as, or in our deck as well. Well, 
So we don't want to use Wally, then we're going to go ahead and evolve into Vikavolt. We still have 50 damage on us. We will attach a Grass Energy here. And I, I want to Hollow, but we haven't used a thing, so I'm going to Tierno. Draw three cards. We get two Grubbins. There we go. We throw those down immediately. We still have Forest. So we'll throw a Charger Bug down on one. Um, I'm going to Evolve next turn into the Vikavolt GX here. Or we could Rare Candy into it, to be honest. Yeah, there's our play next turn right there, those three cards. So we're in a strong charge here. And pull a Electric and Grass Energy out of our deck. And shuffle. Let the opponent cut. We're going to attach them directly to Vikavolt here. And then we are going to Electro Cannon for 150, discarding three of our energies, knocking out Volcanion, and taking a prize card to get Pokemon Fan Club. Okay, Volcanion's turn. What is their response? Um, looks like we want to stall again, so let's throw out Pseudo Wudo. We draw for turn. We get a Professor Sycamore. We're just going to go ahead and use it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We get seven here. Um, not much that we can use. I think we're just going to go ahead and attach two Volcanion EX here. And. Pass the turn. We're going to want to pass the turn. Which sucks. Gives them an extra turn to set up. We draw. Get a ninja boy. So what I'm going to do is to... Rare candy. Into Vikavolt GX. I'm going to Wally into Vikavolt. Where is the Vikavolt? Vikavolt with the strong charge. So actually, I'm going to set that aside for a second because I will be strong charging in a moment here. What do I want to do? I'm going to attach an energy here. And I am going to strong charge and strong charge here. There's an electric and an electric. And a grass. And a grass. So that is my last grass energy. I'm only going to be able to bring back electric energy after this. So what I might do here, since I'm okay with this pseudo wudo, is I'm going to attach. Let me attach three energy to Vikavolt GX. I'm going to attach an energy to Vikavolt and retreat him to promote Vikavolt GX. Spent those energies. And we are going to Charge Beam, which attach an energy from your discard pile to this Pokemon. So we're going to just Charge Beam and bring this energy back up here and do 50 damage to pseudo wudo put that 50 damage back on that vikavolt and i don't know if this was cut or not so i'm just gonna cut it again from this guy 
And I think that's where I want to end my turn on this side is 50 damage. Okay, back to the Volcanion side here. We get a baby Volcanion and an energy. So, is that what we want to do with that? Actually, I'm going to throw it on the baby Volcanion, but throw the energy onto the Volcanion EX here. And how many cards does this opponent have? Four cards and five prizes. So N is not in my best interest. I think it's best to just let the Sudowoodo go down. And come back so winging. Yeah, that looks like to be the best option here. Is to pass. Hard pass. Okay, another... Energy Recycler. Now that's a good card for it. Yeah. What do we have? One, two, three, four, five. We have five energy in here. So that's a good card to play right away. We get one, two, three, four, five cards. Shuffle them back into the deck. But we're not done there, because I think we're going to want to play Pokemon Fan Club to pull two basics and put them into our hand. We're probably going to grab Glaceon EX and Tapu Koko. Yeah, put those two into our hand. Go ahead and get our deck shuffled again. Don't know why, because we're going to throw down Tapu Koko. We're going to put down Glaceon. Let's see if we can make a little more space here. This, uh, this board is bigger, but I'm kind of using a smaller space of it. So we have a gra we still have an attachment for the turn. And we still have two strong charges. Let me go ahead and read Vikavolt GX though. Though. Um, Gigatron GX is a great move right now. Um, we're going to go ahead and strong charge and strong charge. Put out an electric. And an electric and a grass and a grass. And what I think we are going to do here is I'm going to put the two grass on Glaceon and the two electric on Tapu Koko. And we are going to Gigatron GX. Flipping that and doing 60 damage to Volcanion and all of the Volcanion EXs. Trapping the Sudowoodo in the active. Okay, back to Volcanion's turn. Now they're in a bit of trouble here. Um, I'm going to play Altar of the Sun. We're going to Professor's Letter. Bring out two fire energies. I'm not going to shuffle simply because I pulled them off the bottom. I didn't see any other cards. We are going to double steam up. So that's plus 60 damage. And we are going to Sycamore. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. 
And what we needed was this Drew seven cards here. And what it looks like, what I need to play is this escape rope right here. Um, we're going to go ahead and play that. What does Vikavolt want to send out? Um, too heavy, free retreat, best bet. They know that looking at the opponent's board state, Vikavolt knows that most likely Volcanion EX will be coming out here. And that he already performed two steam ups. So whatever gets done is going to do 60 more damage. And 60 plus the 20. Um, I think we are going to go ahead and sack off a Vikavolt with strong charge here. And we'll put this back here. And because that's the one that my opponent decided, we're going to retreat Sudowoodo. Promote the baby Volcanion. Put down an energy for the turn. And what do you do? 20 plus 60 right now. So he does 80. And that leaves that one in the active. Hmm. Or do you want to take a prize card? We already used a supporter for the turn. We could energy retrieval. To do another steam up. How many of these we have in here? Two. We have three energies in the discard. So we could do another 30 damage, which knocks out the Vikavolt and takes a prize card. Not sure if that's the best option. Do we have a Lysander in the discard? Because if we do. Then we might just hold on. We do not have a Lysander in the discard. Okay. Let's go ahead energy retrieval. We'll pull out these two energies. And put one back for another steam up causing 90 damage. Keep the other energy in our hand. And we will power heater, which does 20 plus 90 for 110 damage, knocking out Vikavolt and attaching energies to two Volcanion EXs here. This combined equals. Destruction of him, and let's see if we pull Tortinator. We pull Volcanion EX. It's not bad. So we did get rid of the weakness here. Uh, let's see. Considering what we have, and we have a lot of damage on the board, I am going to put out Tapu Koko. We'll draw for turn. We get that choice band. Now that this dude is the active as well. This attack does 20 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. So, this attack of this Pokemon does, yeah. The attacks of the Pokemon on this card attached to do 30 more damage to your opponent's active. Okay. So let's go ahead and attach this to Glaceon. We are going to... Attach a grass energy to. We don't need to attach a grass energy. So we're going to holla. Since we used our GX attack, we're going to draw seven, uh, seven new cards here. Okay. So let's go ahead and focus back on that. We're going to play holla, put our two cards back in, shuffle our deck. Let our opponent cut it. And draw seven cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six and seven. Okay, so wide lens. We have a wide lens now. 
which we're going to put onto Tapu Koko. Not that it does much good, but it is something. And we're going to hang on to the Field Blower until we start using Glaceon here. We have a couple of useless cards in our hand right now. Two Talon Flames are useless. Uh, and we are going to Flying Flip for 20 damage across the board. So we do 20 damage to him. And him. And him. And him. And the Pseudo Wudo. Sorry about that, the video stopped again. So we just flying flipped the damage across the board to the Volcanian side. We're going to go ahead and jump on Volcanian's side again here and uh, draw for a turn. We get a Pokemon Ranger. So it looks like it's in my best interest to... Let's see... I don't think we have any more energies in here. We do not. So I could steam up, which does 50 damage to this Tapu Koko. But it's probably in my best interest just to knock out the Tapu Koko. So I could steam up for 50, Kukui for 70, Energy Retrieval and Steam Up again for 100, but we are just shy of that knockout, so that's probably not the best play. What might be the best play is to put an energy on Volcanion, Retreat, Retreat here, putting these in the discard, um, pulling this Volcanion EX. Let's just set the 80 damage aside for right now. Pull him up, put the 80 damage back on him, and pull the Volcanium back here. Energy Retrieval to pull these two energies back into our hand. We'll put one of them down on the baby Volcanion here. And we still have another bench space for this Volcanion. But I think it's pretty safe to say we don't need it quite yet. And we are just going to Volcanic Heat for 130 damage, knocking out Tapu Koko. Taking another prize card. Is it Turtonator? It is Ninja Boy. We have four more prize cards over here. It is definitely Vickavolt's turn here. Okay, and based off of our hand... We want to get some damage output on this guy. We need 100 damage. And you know what? Crystal Ray has enough to do that. However, we have no way of making sure we get that rainbow energy. So, we're going to promote Vicavolt here. We're going to draw for a turn. Choice Band, Field Blower. And a couple of useless cards. We can switch, we can field blow, we could choice band. None of which sound like they're gonna work well for us here. Let's go ahead and Vicavolt Strong Charge for an electric energy and a grass energy. Just kind of thin our deck out a little bit here. Looks like we were gonna draw that rainbow one next turn. We're going to go ahead and attach these to probably this guy, actually. Let's see what we're going to do here. Yeah, we're going to super zap cannon. So we're attached there just to uh, let's shuffle the deck after we strong charged. I need rainbow to end up back on top, though. So we're going to strong charge and discard those two energies we just pulled. Does 180 damage, knocking out this Volcanion EX, allowing us to take two prize cards. So we'll just set them there for now. 
It is Volcanion's turn again. It's getting harder and harder. We got a Volcanion, uh, baby Volcanion here. So we're going to go ahead and move him up to the spotlight. We will draw for a turn. Um, it's no point. We could repeat ball, I guess. Let's go ahead and repeat ball. See if we have another Volcanion in the deck here. What do we have left? We have an Entei and Baby Volcanion and Oricorio. So we'll pull out the Baby Volcanion. Get shuffled up here. It looks like we're only going to do one match today, guys. I apologize if you wanted more. Um, let me know if you do want more in the future. We're going to go ahead and play down a Volcanion EX. We are going to steam up to cause an extra 30 damage. We're going to Kukui for two more cards. So switches an Entei. And we're going to save that bench space, I think. We're going to Kukuid. So let's go ahead and Volcanic Heat for 70. Which accelerates energy. We got one, two, and we have a lot of energy in here actually. So we'll just put one more on each of these guys. Next turn we'll have two Volcanions ready to start taking some knockouts. So it is over to Vikavolt's turn again. We get the Grubbin. So we'll throw the Grubbin down. We will... We have enough there. We have three Talon Flames in our hand. We have an extra energy here, so we're going to attach that to Vikavolt here. We'll put the Choice Band on him. We are going to Strong Charge. Pulling out a Lightning Energy. And a grass energy, we're going to go ahead and attach it to that Vikavolt. Starting to run low on deck here. Let me go ahead and figure out a way to attach this. And what do we have? We have a switch, field blower, rare candy, and three talon flames. So, what do we want to do here? I think what we're going to do is we're just going to, uh, okay, we're just going to super zap cannon for 180 damage, which is super overkill on this guy. Actually, how much damage does he have? He has 60, 80 damage. So actually, let's not do super zap cannon. Let's just charge beam and... Pull a lightning energy up onto Vikavolt. So this Vikavolt has five energy now. I'm sorry if that's a little messy way of showing it. Let me do it this way. One, two, three, four, and five. There we are. Knocks out Volcanion here. Takes another prize card, which is a Hala. Okay, let's see. What do we want to do here? We're going to want to promote one of our Volcanions. Let's promote the fancy one. Uh... 
Come on, see the wheel. Get off. There you go. And let's see. Okay, we're going to draw for turn. It's a VS Seeker. Um, do we want to keep those? And since we are facing him, let's just go ahead and VS Seeker a Kakui. And hope, yes, we did draw a fire energy. We're going to keep that. Uh, we'll throw that on Volcanion. And we are going to Volcanic Heat for 130 plus um, we do it for 130 plus the 24 Kukui, so it's 160 damage. We forgot to steam up, however, we couldn't anyways. So 160 damage plus the 70 he has on him is 230 damage, right? 666 to 180 plus 4 is 220, 220, 220 damage. So just shy of the knockout if we had a steam up. That was the time to use it. We did not, though. So it is Vickavolt's turn. And Vickavolt GX is still alive. Still alive. We're going to rare candy Vickavolt. And... We will Field Blower the Altar of the Sun. I think we're just going to put the wide lens down so we don't draw it again. I don't think this Vickavolt has a tool card on him already. If he does, I'm just going to actually, since I don't know whether or not this Vickavolt has a tool card on him, I'll just put it on this Vickavolt. We will switch. Pulling this Vickavolt back and putting up Glaceon. Which is a risk, yes. And then we are going to Hala. Put our hand back in our deck and draw seven cards. Okay, let our opponent cut it. And there's four, five, six, and seven. Ah, oh, did not get what we wanted. How many energies do we have in here? One, two, three. If we only have three, we're going to wait till we get rid of two more. We did get another switch, though. We played Hala already. We got two Talon Flames, which are useless cards in here right now. And we are going to switch again. To move Glaceon back and move Vickavolt up. Now with Vickavolt, he does already have 80 damage on him, but we're still going to Super Zap Cannon for 180 damage, knocking out this Volcanion and taking the last two prizes. And that is how it worked. We had Healing Scarf, Scarf, Super Rod, and the tr Treasure Chest for Volcanion. And that was Vickavolt and Volcanion. Um, let me know what you guys thought. Let me know if you like videos like this that uh, yeah, take, take some promos and then try to work them into a deck. I'm sorry we didn't get to check out Turtonator, but definitely Strong Charge Vickavolt. We proved how effective he can be. Um, so it was a pretty good match. And uh, Vickavolt took the victory. So leave a like, comment, leave suggestions. And I will see you guys on the next video. This is Dapper Drabby. And I bid you guys a Lola. Bye bye now.
Carl. Bye.